Hey guys, what's up? You already know what it is. Back with another video. Um, so this is basically just on some BO3 gameplay and my first thoughts when I got the game. Now, I don't completely own the game right now. I am just renting it. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of upcoming gameplay this weekend. Say three videos or two videos might drop, including this one. So, you know, stay tuned because it's going to be a lot of videos dropping this weekend. So they're going to be three or four videos dropping tonight and a couple more tomorrow because I'm just going to be grinding out those minutes trying to get you guys this best content since I missed five days. Now another thing that I want to talk to you guys about in this video specifically is that um my schedule is going to be all fucked up. I'm not going to probably I'm probably not going to have a schedule. I'm probably going to just upload every weekend or every every uh, Friday and every weekend after that. So um expect that because I am now in school and I'm trying to focus up on my grades so that I don't fuck out of high school and, uh, you know, no one wants to fuck out of high school, that's what I'm saying. So now you guys can just enjoy some gameplay while I talk over about some stuff. So my first thoughts when I first got BO3 is, holy crap, this game is so fucking old now since they come out with one every year. Why am I the last person to get it? So my first thoughts in the game is, wow, I'm so excited to get this even though I'm one of the last people to get it. So, what I thought was this is going to be an excellent multiplayer game, even better campaign, a longer campaign than AW, and AW was a piece of crap compared to this one, you think about it, and I love AW, and, you know, if you don't, then that's your opinion, but I really liked AW, and I really liked the changes they added to this. One thing that I did notice is that in AW, you have these special abilities that you can use from your EXO, EXO abilities. Now you have these specialists who have their specialist abilities, which is much better because now you have a wide variety of characters and a wide variety of abilities that you can use that don't only last, you know, once every lifetime. These last uh, however many times you survive, however many times you can use them in one lifetime. Because, for example, say I use it once, it's gone, it's charging back up as I'm still alive. But when I die, it'll still be charging back up which I just find a great improvement. Another thing that I noticed is weapons and attachments. They have lowered the optics a whole lot because for most of the guns you don't really need an optic unless you're one of those people who say oh my gosh I need a red dot sight or you know I need a scope on my uh, AR or I need a scope on my submachine gun but I'm one of those people who can use a sniper with its hard scope or red dot scope and uh, and still be pretty good with it right now this is my favorite gun right now um the vmp auto i will doing a best i am after this video goes up i will be doing a best class video for the vmp especially because i love this gun um another thing is my favorite special if you guys were wondering is would have to be between the reaper and uh what's that other guy he has these swords or whatever i can't remember his name it'll come to me later but those two, and I, you guys probably know who I'm talking about, guy with the swords coming out of his arms or whatever. Those are my favorite. But the reason that I like the Reaper so much is he just looks badass. Other than that, it's because, I mean, like, if you saw the Reaper, like, come on, be honest, guys. You'd shit your pants. I would, too. I mean, the dude has a freaking Gatling gun coming out of from where his hand is. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is the campaign. Campaign is very long, very extensive, and very deep, and a little graphic, because, well, not the campaign, the multiplayer, I mean, the reason that the multiplayer is pretty graphic is because I got shot, um, on my lower waist, and I looked at the kill cam, and both my legs blew off, like, I swear, you might see it in this video, or you might not, comment down below if you do, and, um, tell me if you guys want to see more of that, or more fails, so I will be doing a compilation on that, I digress. The campaign is just uh, amazing. By far one of the best campaigns I've played besides GTA 5 and uh, Watch Dogs. The reason that I say that is because those are two great games with amazing campaign. And I cannot wait for Watch Dogs 2 to come out. I will definitely be getting that. Um, so stay tuned for that and, you know, I'll tell you guys when I get it. So this is the saddest part of the video, the end. And... 
like and subscribe oh yeah and at the end i could not edit the six minutes out of this so you guys just enjoy this blank screen at the end or i'll add gameplay thank you subscribe and like